How did I? Well, hello, folks. I am Gerald Ray. Okay. Um, so now that you know that, you know who I am. All right. <laughs> um, anyway, y'all, I'm here to do another guitar review here today. And to my good buddy, Scott Grove, Groovy DJs. Now, Scott, my man, this is another guitar review for you. Um, and, of course, all you guys are welcome to hang out, too. But this guitar here, I don't know if you've seen this guitar that I have yet, okay? But um, I'm going to let you hear it. I got the good stuff hooked up to it because this guitar deserves to hear the best, deserves to go through the best sound, okay? Um, what, I'm, what I have here is you probably have seen these around, but these are very, very rare. I was really lucky to get this. Okay, this is an Alvarez Electric. That's right, this is back in 1987. A good buddy of mine, he played this guitar for 27 years. He, uh, he bought this brand new back in the day. And I just want you to let me know what you think about it. Alright, now right off the bat, as you can see, we got three EMG Select pickups. But they sound pretty good and, and stuff. And, of course, you got two humbuckers and you got the single coil there in the middle okay but it, this thing actually sounds really good I mean I've been playing it in the bedroom for the last 20 minutes shoot this thing will kick this thing will kick butt okay um, I'm running through my big crate GX with the 212 212's and I've got my boss CS3 and I've got my Digitech RP55 over here ready to go so Scott, without further ado do there, my man, I will go ahead and bring this down here and just like you do. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. That's right. You got all gold hardware. Okay? Got a uh, uh, ebony fingerboard, so everything is groovy. Elixir polywebs, which are totally stretched out to their max. Okay, so very cool. Um, the top. Now this thing is pretty heavy. This is probably on the, probably about nine pounds, about eight to nine pounds, so it's not, so it's not that heavy, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it probably weighs as much as, much as that PV Predator that I got, that's under the bed, that's under the bed, okay, um, but I just cleaned this, thing, this guitar up, and for those of you guys that have seen this guitar before, uh, here's what it looks like after the surgery, no pun intended there. And, Scott, you have the original whammy bar right here. So, everything is all hunky-dory. Everything seems to work good. Okay, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Okay. Um, so, I'm just going to run it through my typical stuff here. I'm just going to do a little bit of jam jamming here for you. Um, these are some great guitars. Kind of like Ovation was, you know, back in the 70s or whatever. Um, yep, it's amazing, you uh, just amazing how times are nowadays. Here it is. Now I've got the boss on. I will not shut shut the compressor off. And yes, I've got reverb on my Digitech over here. So I got my big 120 watt crate amp with the two 12s in it. I don't that sound good. I'm going to start with the one with the uh, bridge humbucker. Okay, with the bridge pickup, which is going to sound like this. give myself a little bit more volume on that boss. I want to have a little bit of crunch here tonight because... Yeah, I got some crunch on it because that's how... Uh, that's about... Me and you about got the same kind of, kind of uh, sound on stage. It'll sustain forever, folks. <laughs> That's why I like it. Um, okay. Um, so, Scott, here's the uh, two position. Okay, so you're... Now, this kind of sounds Fender-esque, believe this or not. Um, um, Oh, 
folks. I gotta get a little bit. Oh, there we go. This is one thing that you do not see of me very often. Me playing with a whammy. This is going out to my brother man. I cannot remember your name. Um, <laughs> your, uh, your screen name, but there you go, brother. <laughs> um, um, so, yep. So here's the bridge, here's the middle pickup. Now this is just the hum, but this is just the single coil by itself. Okay, so. Um, that, I really never liked that sound, but it does all right. Here's the fourth position. Let's see. Um, folks, I, I gotta get some volume. There we go, by golly. Yeah, I gotta have some volume up in this thing, Scott. This thing don't deserve no bull crap. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Probably need to turn it down just a little bit. Wouldn't you hate to wouldn't you hate to be my neighbor? So there it is. Finally, this amp is very touchy, folks. It is loud. Um, so, yeah, Scott, I'm just showing you this thing. Um, I'll show you the rest of it here in a short. Okay, let me go to a cool little blues patch that I have. country sound. Okay, I don't want that right now. Okay, we can do a little bit of... easy to play Scott it's kind of the neck is kind of like a doesn't it's almost kind of like the flat wide kind of neck type thing that you like I kind of like it too a little bit um, but yeah got gold tuners on right there buddy it's just a beautiful guitar um, so, uh, now let's go back a little bit there's my blues tone right there. Um, let's see. Um, well, so see, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Um, this thing, this thing has got it. <laughs> this is this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad stuff right here. Um, so yeah, I gotta have some volume up in this mother. So neighbors trying to sleep next door. Like I said, I bet you hate to be my neighbor. Um, but yeah, Scott, just let me know what you think about this thing, brother. Buddy. Okay, so.
So, this amp you just gotta you just gotta make it because it's really loud. So that's the neck position. You go back to your four position. This thing, you can actually play country music with this. So yeah, that's a cool little lick right there, folks. Cool, huh? Um, go do a little bit of diamond reel. So yeah, very cool. Um, so that neck humbucker is really hot Scott this is a really high output guitar uh, I mean this thing will really pew. I don't know if the camera if the iPad if it blow the speaker or not okay so uh, let me try it again <laughs> I'm just playing some some cool stuff. Um. Okay. So I'm just showing you some tones. when I can do that but anyway like I said folks I'm mostly here to play it but I'm just wanting to show it to, to my buddy Scott Grove and um, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute I gotta do something here okay I gotta do something here I gotta do something real quick Scott <laughs> why because it's just Two things in life that make it worth living 
is getting almost too good for all you feeling women. I don't need my name in the marquee lights. I've got my song and I've got you with me tonight. Maybe it's time we got back to the basics of love. Um, so yeah, some really cool stuff here with this guitar, man. You can country with this thing. You can rock. You can rock on this thing. Speaking of that, let me do something here. One more thing, Scott, and I'll let you go. I'm just having a ball. Now, now this is where the humbucker comes in handy because let's see. Yeah, really cool stuff. Wow. So crank it up a little bit. So anyway, there you are. I'm not much of a shredhead. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I will do a... Alright, but anyway, Scott, there you go, my man. Um, let me show you the case of this sucker. <laughs> That was fun, wasn't it? By golly, it was. It was a lot of fun. That's the most fun I ever had with my clothes on. I tell you what. <laughs> All right, so here's the key. Here's the back of the head snock. This is the key tuners. Like I said, nothing but pure gold. Uh, I'm just letting you hear me play here. Um, there it is. Alvarez Electric. This is really cool. This is for those of you guys that love to hear me play. Gold hardware, bolt-on neck. Thank you very much. Um, got a black cover. Um, like I said, you've got your typical whammy bar right here that comes with it, so everything's stock. Like I said, I've cleaned everything. I took this thing apart. I've molested this thing and you know, put him back together. Now, the top. I want you to look at this top here for me, Scott, and let me know what you and see what you think. This here is kind of like a photo flame, wouldn't you kind of say? Because it's not really kind of like a burst. I mean, there's not really a... I don't think there's really like a burst to it. Um, because, I mean, look at the different... Gr the wood grain and everything. I mean, just check this out. Okay? So, I mean, that's just really, really cool. Um, that's just, you know... Um, that's... And on the back of it is red, so I kind of kind of reminded me of that telly that you had, because it, it's a photo, you know, the photo flame one. But that's what this kind of reminds me of. Looks like either way. This is such a beautiful guitar, folks. Now, can you buy these guitars? Uh, no, they. I have not. I've only seen one, and that was on eBay a few years ago. But there's probably a few of these around still. But probably not in this mint condition. This thing has been all over, has been to all 50 states. Okay, so yep, he bought, my buddy Curtis bought, the, now, he, now he had a, 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 a light stroke. He had minor strokes and stuff, and he still does that ever so often. But, 
this is just a really cool little flipping guitar. Um, so, this guy just want to let you know, but that neck profile is really nice. Okay, um, just a awesome, awesome guitar that you guys can check out. Um, like I said, I'm mostly here to talk about it, but I let this guitar play tonight. Normally, I mostly talk about the guitar. I'm not here to impress nobody with playing. Uh, even though I do put some Scott Grove licks in there and stuff and some of my own. and Hey, that's the whole beauty of it, folks, is, is the giving back. And Scott, this is, just want to let Neil, just let me know what you think. So, yep, the whammy bar, like I said, it does, I mean, as long as you don't whammy it to death. Okay, so, yep, check, see, check that out. Got your gold saddles here. Um really cool little bridge. I like that bridge. That's that's one of the nicest bridge I think I've seen. Um but very very rare guitars. Like I said, you got a five way switch, just like your strats and everything, two tones and a volume. Okay, which the volume was maxed out. Um so yeah, there is no pull pieces on this. So this guitar will sustain longer. Because they don't have the pull pieces, because what's going to happen is you're going to put your, you're going to, when you go to, like you take a typical guitar that's got the pull pieces, your string is going to hit that, and when you bend up, like when you're bending the string, you're going to lose that resistance. You're going to lose that, uh, that sound. But with these, you don't have to worry about it. Okay? But, yeah, it's too bad Alvarez does not make electric guitars anymore. This is back when they were really good. I uh, can't say too much for their acoustic guitars. Those are more like classical guitars. Um, I mean, the, Al the new Alvarez's are all right, but why can't they be like Ovation was? This is kind of like, like I said, you know, Scott, back in the 70s or whatever. But, but there is a serial number. Where in the world did I see it? I, or did I see it? There's a serial number on the back here. If you want to take a crack at it, yep, like I said, it's all gold, everything. My lighting sucks balls. But, here's something to you guys. And I got the original hard shell case with it too, Scott, for $150. Whoa, baby, that's what he sold it to me for. I know you guys had a screen full. <laughs> but here's the case. Look at this case, Scott, this thing. Yep, Alvarez, electric. This is the original case that come with. This case is in 100% original condition. It's got the foam in it, and it's not tarnished or anything. But let me tell you something. When I, got the, when I first brought this guitar home, when I first brought this guitar home, sorry, I'm just knocking all kind of crap down all over the place. Um, this guitar stunk so bad it had 20 years of, hell, it had about almost 30 years of smoke and everything. And, and crap on it. But I'm going to let you get a little glimpse of this case. See, you've got the chrome binding out here on the side. You know, we got the... It's just a cool little flipping case here. For $150, he said, you still, you still want to buy that Alvarez? Because he trusted me. He trusted me that I would not get rid of this guitar. I said, well, Curtis, you, wanna, you won't have to worry about that, my man. There it is, Scott. Take a look inside there. Got all padding, padding. Like I said, this is a little, we got a little bit of carpet in here. This is kind of like foam. This is kind of like hard, kind of hard plastic over this. So this will last for years. You've got a compartment right here. A little bitty small guy right there. That's where you can keep your pills and stuff, your narcotics. And you've got one over here on this side. So you lift her up, there she be, but this thing was, this thing has so much smoke in there, I mean, whew, God, li literally choked to death, but, hey, um, I cleaned it up, and I put some Febreze in there, and sprayed it in there, and some Lysol, some uh, spray, but yeah, it's just a cool little case, so you think, so what do you think, for 150 bucks? A very rare, 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 rare guitar that I wanted to show you this to you, buddy. 
you know, the thing about it, folks, is I'm giving back, you know, I'm giving back of what I've learned, you know, and obviously, you know, I've, I've done this for a long time, too, but I'm just giving back to Scott Grove because uh, it's about helping out, you know, you help each other out, that's my buddy, that's, that's my best friend right there, so, anyway, Scott, I love you dearly, but don't tell my husband, shh. Um, so, my, once again, my 1987 Alvarez Electric, amazing, amazing guitar. I'm going to go ahead and shut this stuff down. Like I said, you'd probably have to be my neighbor and me blast you out at 1 o'clock in the morning. But there it is. There's a full review of it for you guys. And Scott, and there you go. And once again, I love a bolt-on neck. So, you know, it's all groovy. Um... So this is really cool. This is actually my second Alvarez Electric. I got my Alvarez Classic Custom buried over there somewhere. But this guitar will never go anywhere. So that way when something ever happens to my buddy, Curtis, because I play at the Assistant Living on Tuesday nights and sing down there for those folks. And he sold this to me. And so whenever something happens to him or he passes away, I'll still have it. And it'll live on forever. So, you know, I've got nice polished frets and everything. So, plugs right back here, just like my last Paul, which is get tarted. Like I said, everything's gold here, boss. Boys, everything's gold. And Scott Grove, my buddy Scott loves the gold. Okay, you got your little cool little string trees going here. So, you got your regular nut. And so, anyway, yes, I am a nut, but I'm going to get on up out of here now. You guys take care of me. I'm going to go to bed. I'm gonna, well, like I said, I'm going to go look on eBay for some guitars. So, anyway, you guys take care. I'm your old buddy Gerald. Be groovy. Scott Grove. There you go, my man. The full-on review for you. So, y'all take care. Bye-bye, folks. Good night.